What if I told you that this 3D chair asset was generated by AI in just seconds? Let me show you how. I went to the Luma AI Discord and found their Genie project. I typed high back chair, luxurious leather, burgundy. I was hoping for the Matrix look and I got something pretty similar on the first try. Luma AI gave me four options. I liked the first one the most, so I clicked on Refine 1. And just like that, my chair was ready. I brought it into my game, added some physics, and here it is. I have to say I love the detail in this model, check out these worn out edges, it works, it gets the job done, I like the look. Ok, I know that this was pretty fast, let's slow it down and walk you through the steps once again. Step number one, go to Luma AI's Discord. Make sure that you have Discord and go to the Luma AI Discord at discord.gg forward slash Luma AI. I'm also including the link in the video description below so you can just click there. Once you go to that link you will see a message that says you've been invited to, to join Luma AI. Click on accept invite. Step number two, write your prompt. You will see that their Discord has a genie prompt guide which explains in detail what to do. The instructions honestly are very straightforward. You have to go to one of their genie threads and type forward slash genie and then choose the genie command prompt and then your description of the 3D model that you want. I typed high back chair, luxurious, leather, burgundy. Step 3. Choose your model. Once you type in your prompt, Genie is going to go to work and will soon show you 4 models to choose from. Notice that underneath the 4 images you have buttons that read Refine 1, Refine 2, Refine 3 and Refine 4. Uh, I liked the first chair the most, so I clicked on Refine 1. Now Genie went to work on creating a higher resolution version of that model. Step number four, claim your high-res model. Go to the Genie Refine thread and find your model there. This might take several seconds or even minutes, depending on how busy their servers are at the moment. You will see a clear indicator telling you how close they are to finishing it. Uh, once the refined model is finished, you can click on view in 3D slash download. Step five, adjust textures. The buttons on the right side of the screen allow you to make some adjustments to the texture. Click on the first one if you don't want it to have any reflective properties. A second button makes it uh, so that it emphasizes the lack of roughness. It basically makes it shiny but in a way that some plastic objects are shiny. Uh, the third button is about the metalness properties. If your object is made of metal or glass, I would select this one. And then finally, the last button has roughness and metalness sliders and even a tint window where you can change the color of the parts of your model. Step 6. Download your model. Click on download. I am on my iPhone, so I decided to simply email it to myself by clicking the share button at the bottom and then choosing mail. Once I downloaded my model, I opened it in Blender to review the topology. Uh, my chair has roughly 40,000 faces. The topology is not very clean, but honestly, I didn't expect it to be. It looks like a topology that I'm used to seeing from photogrammetry apps. I was happy to see that the texture was saved as one file that looked nicely packed already, so no complaints here. From here it's relatively easy to tinker with topology and change the model if you want to do that. Uh, you can also open the texture in Adobe Substance Painter or some other texturing app. Uh, here I have more control over the roughness or metalness of individual parts of the objects. For example, the worn out leather part shouldn't be shiny at all, so I'm going to increase roughness on that part. Uh, the painted wooden parts could use some gloss, so I'm going to reduce roughness over here. I might give these gold details a metallic look. Uh, now that I look at it, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure if these are supposed to be metal or not. 
Overall, it's very impressive. I would love to see it improved by giving me a chance to iterate on the same model so that I can have a longer conversation with Genie. Uh, once I see the initial model, I would like to simply be able to say, make it a little bit taller, make the leather texture darker, make the gold details silver, and so on. Basically, I would like to be able to iterate in the same way that ChatGPT allows me to. And I have no doubt that these features are coming. What else would I like from Luma? I would love for this to be an add-on inside Blender. Imagine opening a simple dialog box window inside Blender and simply describing your model there with the full topology changing in front of your eyes inside the app. Uh, now that I think about it, the idea of typing prompts feels a bit outdated already. Why not use your computer's microphone and have a real conversation with Genie, right? That would be a dream come true for me, for sure. And why wouldn't this be possible? We know that Blender add-ons can be capable of a lot. There is a Blender add-on out there already that allows you to type in the geographic coordinates and it pulls the 3D model data of nearby buildings from Google Maps. Uh, I think it's just a matter of time until we see generative AI in the form of a Blender add-on. I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more tutorials.